it, it's like one million degrees outside to here where it's super fresh. Wait, 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 wait. Who is that guy? Um, if you're just joining in, um, that's a different guy. I'm actually fast forwarding a couple of years. I've been sitting on this content for, I don't know, since September of 2018. I know, I'm sorry. Uh, went through a little bit of a transformation since that time. I think I've lost five or six sizes in my weight belt, my, my waist. And uh, about 30 pounds I've lost since I recorded that. So pardon that, but if I, I we're just gonna jump right back in so you can see the action underwater cenote diving. Check it out. And what does the water do for me? It's like I've always been hyperactive, hyperactive. Even medicated it since a, a small child with, uh, for hyperactivity, ADHD. But when, you, when I get in the water, it's, it's sometimes I was thinking last night that it's hard to describe that, that feeling, that like physical sensation, which becomes an emotional sensation of, of gliding in the water. It's just when, when your body becomes one with the element. Comes one with the element and then you start when you start going down and pressure embrace you is even stronger that, that you get dissolved on it whatever that's it is a little bit more complicated but what I mean is like being in nature being in a beautiful cave with the sunshine in this clear water pure water healing water no? yeah. it's just like something that is can be it's magical absolutely yeah it's magical it's hard to explain I mean I, I, I identify with everything you said and free floating and feeling the pressure and all those I mean the space like being so small in a big space there's a lot okay I can tell you how cool it feels to come from outside and it, it's like one million degrees outside to here where it's super fresh and perfect. Look at this place. Lots of birds here. Yeah. And it's like a pit, and the pit goes down. This is a very deep, deep cenote. And it's just full of these like stalactites and golandrinas. And that beam of light coming down. So let's get in the water. Let's, let's check this thing out. What do you say, Rose? Let's do it. Not many places you can go that are remote and there's no one else around that are this unbelievable. I mean, pfft. and the beautiful thing is that the Yucatan Peninsula is, it's just got thousands and thousands of these. And I want to go to every one of them. <laughs> so are you coming with me next time? That'd be super cool. Anyway, signing out.
Like my parents let me just play in the water, in the pool, play, swim, who can swim the furthest, who can jump the height, whatever. You play, you get in the water, you play. Well then I started, I became a diver. And, and, and when I started diving and you have a mask on and you put your face in the water, you kind of like forget about life. The moment your face into the water, everything goes away. Everything goes away. The stress, this, or that. You write the email or everything goes away. So for me, taking time when I'm free diving or diving or going to the water to take pictures, like today, I wanted to thank Rose for being an awesome model and taking me to this beautiful place that I don't know and uh, giving me the opportunity to photograph in this incredible light beam and uh, just experience nature and be in a place by ourselves like no one else is here. Um, Okay, so I just got out of the water doing a swim here in this epic place. This is, this is an unbelievable cenote. You can see the sides of it. It's just, I can't, this deep, big, and the ceiling is full of stalactites and there's a beam of light. And I was just trying to get a cool shot. And uh, you can see, I took you along with me on the ride, um, some of the GoPro shots. You can see how I was, framing the shot on the surface and looking for the, the moment and uh, trying to time. And, and for me, everything in, in Cenote is a lot of the action happens on the surface. It's like a little dance with the light. And for me, the outside of, well, above the water is as important and cool underwater. So I really want to try to mix both the best of both worlds in that picture so hopefully you have fun riding along with me so you can see how I make those shots come together. So that's where we just were swimming right down there in that hole. Um, I just wanted to just say thank you for joining me on, on this little adventure. Um, thanks Rose for posing for me. Uh, to be in this a ma a magical, magical cenote. Uh, I, I think it's cool to, to follow along and see how a photographer like, has the vision for a photograph and then like the process to make that picture. You see the final product and it's, you, you don't really realize like what went into it. You know, we drove two hours to get here. Um, we were in the water for two hours and I mean, I might get like two or three awesome pictures that I'm gonna love. But at the end of the day, water has always been this awesome resource for me. It's this natural element that I don't know. I, I go into the water and I forget about life. I forget about work. I forget about problems. I, I just look at the fish. Like, ooh, there's a little fish swimming by. Ooh, there's a light beam. I don't think about anything else. And uh, the water, I, I, it's therapeutic. And I just wanted to close by saying, you know, do something amazing. Just do something. Change it up. Just do something. Have a ton of fun. And be sure to get your feet wet. Awesome. Thank you so much. I'll share some more stuff with you pretty soon. Um, maybe more cenote adventures? I don't know. Do you like the, what these cenotes look like? Let me know in the comments. Or not. And I'll just keep doing more stuff. Peace.